Hey guys, it's Mitch with iApple Tech, and today I'll be going over Arrow. Now, this is a Cydia tweak that is an iOS application switcher for your device. Now, this is probably one of the best hands-down switchers that you can have as a Cydia tweak on your device because it incorporates tons of animations, it has some icon reflections, and it also has some wrap as well as some other settings. So once downloaded in Cydia, go ahead and open up the settings for Arrow. And in Arrow, we can go ahead and choose our activation method. Right now, I am replacing the default switcher on my device, so I'm going to go ahead and press the double press of the home button. Then we have the actual settings. In Arrow, we have some animations, some icon reflections, some wrap, some vertical mode, and small icons. So first off, let's go ahead and open up the animations. And here you can browse roughly 10 anim animations ranging from linear, wheel, to time machine. So let me go ahead and show you linear. So you can see here that this brings up a whole new window and it does show you each of your multitask apps here in a nice linear format. The name will be displayed at the top. So there's mail, tweetbot, settings and whatnot. So that's linear. We have cover flow. Kind of brings them into the front. We also have rotary. Kind of see here they go around in a circle. Now if you can see here I am unable to go over to the next one. That is because I do not have wrap enabled. If I go back into settings and I enable wrap I will be able to go in a continuous circle and not stop. Now wrap is really nice because there are also some different animations such as wheel that really take in this wrap settings. So there it goes in a clockwise rotation. We also have wheel or alternative here. Or alternate. This is at the top rather than the bottom. So it just gives you a different feel. We also have a cylinder. This gives you like a cylinder shape. You can continuously go thanks to the wrap option. So let's go down to time machine. You can kind of see this is almost like a train as the one goes by it fades away and it will continuous go in a continuous motion thanks to wrap. We also have the time machine alternate here which is in the other direction. And lastly we have the alternate too which is in that direction. So these are all the different animations for Arrow. We also have the overlay mode. If you can see there, normally it went to its own window, but with the overlay, the icons go right over the top of what previous window that you are in. So right now I am settings, and it will default right over that. We also have the ability to make smaller icons if we choose. You can kind of see the icons are a little bit smaller there. Go ahead and change that back to linear. We also have the ability to change the background. If I go ahead and choose the showcase background, it kind of gives it like a bubble format. So that's the showcase. In addition, we also have the icon reflection where it will reflect the bottom of the icon. You can see here at the bottom, the icons are reflected. And lastly, we also have the vertical mode. Now it is uh, noted that you should turn off the icon rotation if you do choose the vertical mode there. And you can see the icons are from top to bottom and their name does not appear on the vertical mode. So guys, this is Arrow and it is an awesome iOS application switcher that has tons of animations as well as settings including the wrap, icon reflection, small icons, overlaid mode, and the different background images. It is called Arrow and you can pick it up in the Mod My Eye repo for $1.99. And this is an awesome iOS application switcher for your device and it is only compatible with the iPhone and the iPod Touch. And there are tons of animations and options that you can configure with Arrow. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.